What's up, y'all? It's fight night, man. Um, so, yeah, I get ready for the night, but this is a different video on a different subject, man. This was yesterday at the weigh-in and shit, so, um, they, the media was asking Adrian Bona ass and Devin Haney and shit about each other, and I just want to let y'all niggas know, man, like, let me tell y'all right off, right off the dome, this is a controversial video, I know y'all coming, come, come, because y'all know, you know what I'm saying, this is this what this shit about, man. I love bickering back and forth with y'all ass and y'all talking y'all shit because look, I'm gonna tell y'all right now off off the top. Adrian Brona will whoop damn it Haney ass. He will whoop his ass. Do you hear me? <laughs> Real shit. The moment they even put the names together and Devin Haney put that shit out there, I knew off the top. I knew off the top when Devin Haney first said some. Posted a picture with him and AB and said, what y'all think about this and shit like that. Man, come on, man. I'm going to tell you right now, bro. Adrian Bone will whoop Devin Haney ass, beating him the fuck up. And it'll be bad. You feel me? Like, y'all will be so, so sad after the fight because, look, and, and I know y'all going to try to get on me. Come on, man. Come with it. But every time... Y'all just high on a young fighter, and I know how it is because I be the same way with other fighters. Like, every, like every time I talk my shit about Javante Tank Davis, y'all bring y'all ass over, talk y'all this shit. Tank, Tank, Tank the best fighter in the world. You know what I'm saying? All this little shit. <laughs> that what Black be saying. All this little shit y'all be saying, like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all be saying all the little shit with Lena Ella being all that shit. Y'all talk y'all shit, and I let y'all talk y'all shit, and I don't get mad at y'all, so don't be acting like no hoes with me. So check this out, man. I'm tell y'all, man. Devin Haney is going in overdrive with this promotion shit. Not only because he has to, which I think is brilliant. So I give him, I give him a plus for that. It's brilliant for, for motherfucking Devin Haney to be doing all this promoting that he doing because but he has a promoter, Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn know better not to put Adrian Bone in the ring with 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 Devin Haney, man. Eddie Hearn can't even give De get De give Devin Haney a, a big fight, bro. He, he he never gonna that's never gonna happen. You feel me? And when you sign to the zone, and Eddie Hearn, you making a sacrifice, and the sacrifice is your stardom. You feel me? It, your, your stardom because you fighting on the motherfucking app and niggas can't see you. So, now that Devin Haney, what makes Devin Haney so brilliant, he know he in a fucked up position. But, you know what I'm saying? He continues to promote himself. He comes on YouTube. He fuck with um Black and them and motherfucking 78 and, and, and motherfucking do all these interviews, come to these goddamn fights and do this and do that. That's what makes him brilliant. But putting his name with some of these fighters, he can't beat Mikey Garcia either. But he can't he, he can't be AB. This is about AB. He can't be AB, bro. Um, He needs to worry about his own motherfucking division and take over that. You feel me? Devin Haney a big-ass dude, man. Have y'all ever seen? Seeing Devin Haney stand next to Terrence Crawford, they the same size. Same size. Devin Haney eventually going to fight at once 47 one day, I believe. But he can't beat A.B., man. Can't beat A.B., bro. Hey, I ever... Okay, you got a big brother or a big sister or whatever. And you start hitting that age. It's that age. It's a certain age where you start feeling like you can whoop your motherfucking older brother, uncle, auntie ass, or somebody ass. Who older than you in your family? You start feeling feeling that little spurt growing. You feel me? You like, man, I whoop your ass and shit like that. And then they and they like thirty something and shit like that. You like eighteen somewhere around there, somewhere around that age. And then next thing you know, y'all get him up, he ain't beat the fuck out of you. You know what I'm saying? Because you thought it was sweet because you did a few push ups and shit like that, and and and, and you did some jumping jacks and all this shit. <laughs> and, and, and you get your ass whooped. Cause I know, cause I didn't did it. You feel me? I challenged my daddy and shit like that plenty of time. Like, you feel me? Uncles and all that. I want my uncle ass though. That's different. But, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he gonna see this. He gonna be like, nigga, you ain't with shit. <laughs> no, but real shit though, man. Devin Hattie can't be no fucking Adrian Bonner, man. You know what I'm saying? He can't be Adrian Bonner. Not yet. Not yet. You feel me? Cause Adrian Bonner, man, a veteran in this shit. Niggas don't give him his credit because 
he play too fucking much and he too damn goofy and he always talking shit. So niggas don't take him that serious like that. So they don't give him his credit. But he a veteran in the boxing game and Devin Haney can't outbox Adrian Boner and he can't outwork him either because that's not even a type of fight he is. You feel me? Adrian Boner is a great counter puncher, man. Great counter puncher and he good to the body. He got a great check left. Come on, man. He'll be fucking him up all night, bro. This is facts what I'm telling you. You ain't got to like it. You feel me? Y'all know if everybody made the same type of videos, you feel me? If the if every store sent, sold the same shit, then why go across the town and go to the other store? You feel me? So if my channel was like everybody else's, then what's the point of coming to my motherfucking channel? So I'm just giving you a perspective on my perspective on my mindset on how I process this shit, but... This ain't no beef shit against nobody else. I'm just saying. This nigga can't beat A.B. He can't do it. You feel me? He'll get embarrassed. Bro, he'll get embarrassed in front of a big crowd, and that'll be, that'll be a big knock toward his career. And Devin Haney and a lot of 135-pounders, lucky Shakur Stevenson is not in their weight class because out of the three uh, next superstars that I always talk about is Devin Haney, Shakur Stevenson, and, and, and Javante Tane Davis. Shakur Stevenson is the best boxer out of three, and y'all know Javante Davis, my boy, and I, I, and Shakur Stevenson, my boy too. But I fuck with Devin Haney too. But I'm just keeping it real, and I don't think Devin Haney can be tanked. But I'm telling you, the whole division better be lucky, motherfucking Shakur Stevenson, not up there because he, dog, he like the best boxer out of all the prospects and shit. Like, dude, a great boxer, man. Like. Dude be in the motherfucking ring, Terrence Crawford and shit. And he just, he been whooping on Devin Haney ass back in the day at, at, at Mayweather Club. And if you ain't seen it, type it in on YouTube. Type in Shakur Stevenson versus motherfucking um, Devin Haney. And you'll see them spawn. Yeah, I know that spawn. I know that spawn. But this is just what I think. But that's that, man. I'm out, y'all. Peace. I'm on to the next one.